let me be real with you. Just knowing how to code isn't enough anymore. The market is flooded with developers who can write React components or spin up APIs. But here's the thing, companies don't just want coders. They want problem solvers. They want people who understand their business, their industry, and their pain points. And that's where domain knowledge comes in. Today, I'm going to show you how to position yourself as more than just a coder, how to build your personal cheat sheet of secret gems in programming, and how to give yourself an edge that no AI or bootcamp grad can replicate. Let's get into it. For context, my name is Phil. I transitioned from a 30-year-old, broke, burnout English teacher to a senior developer and a tech lead. Throughout my career, I gained extensive domain knowledge, such as real estate, e-commerce, and even mental health. I can honestly say more than 50% of my success and monetary gains as a programmer came from the fact that I was able to solve real problems, not just be skilled in writing code itself. Why domain knowledge is the game changer. Here's the thing, coding is a tool, not the end goal. Companies don't pay you to write code, they pay you to solve problems. And the best way to solve problems is to understand the domain you're working in, whether it's healthcare, finance, e-commerce, or logistics, knowing the industry's challenges and opportunities make you 10x more valuable. Think about it. If you're building a healthcare app, knowing HIPAA compliance rules or how patient data flows through a hospital system gives you an edge. If you're working in e-commerce, understanding commerce conversion rates, cart abandonment, and supply chain logistics makes you indispensable. Coding is the how. Domain knowledge is the why. And when you combine the two, you're unstoppable. For example, my first opportunity came in real estate. I was tasked to build a property listing platform, work with mapping APIs, and responsible for handling image uploads and optimization. By being in the field, I learned exactly what I needed to to be successful as a programmer in this particular industry. I learned about advanced search, filtering, and geolocation. I learned about proper usage of Google Maps and Mapbox for property visualization. I also learned about how to create mortgage calculators and financial estimators. Through my experience, I learned about property data formats and legal compliances. I learned about workflow automation for agent client interactions and gained knowledge of the real estate transaction life cycles. If I were to ever go back to becoming a developer in real estate, I would know exactly how and why to succeed and command a high salary in this field. So, how to build domain knowledge. Now you're probably thinking, Phil, I don't have time to become an expert in every industry. And you're right, you don't have to. Here's what you do instead. Pick a domain you care about. Start with something you're naturally curious about. Love fitness? Dive into the fitness tech space. Interested in finance? Learn about fintech trends. When you care about the domain, learning feels less like work and more like discovery. Consume industry content, follow blogs, podcasts, and YouTube channels in your chosen domain. For example, if you're into e-commerce, follow Shopify's engineering blog or listen to podcasts about DTC, direct consumer brands. You'll start picking up the lingo and understanding the pain points. Talk to people in the industry, reach out to professionals on LinkedIn, ask them about their challenges and what tools they wish existed. This is gold for understanding real world problems you can solve with code. Build domain specific projects. Don't just build another to-do app. Build something that solves a real problem in your chosen domain. For example, if you're into fitness, create a workout tracker that adapts to user progress. If you're into finance, build a budgeting tool that visualizes spending trends. These projects will not only teach you coding, but also give you a portfolio that screams, I understand your industry. The power of a personal programming cheat sheet. All right, let's talk about your secret weapon. Your personal programming cheat sheet. This isn't just a list of syntax or algorithms, it's your collection of proven patterns, tools, and shortcuts that make you faster and more effective. Here's how to build it. Document what you learn. Every time you solve a problem, write it down, not just the solution, but the why behind it. Why did you choose that algorithm? Why did you structure your database that way? Over time, this becomes your personal library of solutions. Steal smart when you see a senior developer solve a problem in minutes that would have taken you hours. Don't just copy paste their code, ask them to explain their approach. Understand the pattern, the trade-offs, and the reasoning. Then adapt it to your own toolkit. 
Organize by use case, break your cheat sheet into categories, debugging tricks, performance optimizations, common API patterns, etc. This way, when you face a similar problem, you're not starting from scratch. You're pulling from your own playbook. Leverage AI as a partner, not a crutch. Tools like GitHub Copilot are amazing, but they're only as good as the prompts you give them. Use your cheat sheet to craft better prompts and validate the AI's output. Remember, AI can't replace your understanding of the problem. It can only assist you. Now, let's talk about how to package all of this, your domain knowledge, your cheat sheet, your projects, into a killer resume and online presence. Tailor your resume to the domain, highlight projects and skills that will align with the industry you're targeting. If you're applying to a fintech company, emphasize your budgeting app or your understanding of financial APIs. Make it clear that you're not just a coder. You're a coder who understands their world. Show your work publicly, post your projects on GitHub with detailed readmes that explain the problem you solved and the decisions you made. Share your learning journey on LinkedIn. Write blog posts about the challenges you faced and how you overcame them. This builds your reputation as a problem solver, not just a code monkey. Network strategically, connect with the people in your target domain. Comment on their posts, share insights, and ask thoughtful questions. Network isn't about asking for jobs. It's about building relationships and showing that you're genuinely interested in the field. Here's the hard truth. Breaking into tech isn't easy, especially if you're older or coming from a non-traditional background. But here's the big opportunity. Your life experience, your curiosity, and your willingness to learn give you an edge that no 22-year-old CS grid can replicate. The key is to position yourself as more than just a coder. Be a problem solver. Be someone who understands the domain, who has a personal library of solutions, and who can communicate your value clearly. That's how you stand out. That's how you future-proof your career, and that's how you make tech work for you. So, what's your next step? Pick a domain, build your cheat sheet, and start solving real problems. What domain are you excited to dive into? Let's talk about it. See you in the next video. And remember, if I can do it, you can do it too. Coding saves lives.